Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another edition of Saturday Morning Crafting in which I have joined forces with Melissa of Mo Creations as well as Gloria of Gloria's Cards to bring to you a project featuring something that we all have alike or similar. This week's focus is going to be on a memory decks card in which we are also going to be um, sharing our talents and sending these off to um, enter a challenge um, so I'm not going to put challenge details in this video but I will link it in the description box so that if you want to go check it out you may do so we are also um, uploading to the hashtag sat makes hosted by Jill Norwood you guys know Jill Norwood and if you don't you need to find out who she is She's a phenomenal crafter, and she is bringing all of us together to carve out time throughout our work week or our week period to just uh, have some mental health time to ourselves and to deflate using the hobby of crafting. That being said, her link will be in the description box as well. Now, like I said, our focal feature this week is going to be memory decks cards. So I pulled out this memory deck set by Heidi Swap. I am utilizing this um, set by Studio Light. I utilize the envelope there. I use these diamond dots by mm -mm, enamel dots by Echo Park. This die set by Spellbinders Fall Leaves. Oh, sorry. Um, this die set by La La Land Crafts. This die set by Lawn Fawn. It's called the Build a Basket Apple. Build a Barrel Apple. I utilize this paper pad by uh, Die Cuts with a View. This die set by Honey Bee Stamps. I think this is called Coffee Talk. No, it's called Coffee Break. And I use the donut out of this set. And I utilize this chipboard set here by Cartabella. And I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry I can't get it in frame. So that's that. So here is the memory decks card that I created. And I think it turned out super cute. Um, I love homemade apple cider during the uh, fall months. So this card is um, <laughs> inspiration for what's to come. And I have a cup, a coffee cup there, and here's the basket where I just, um, I'm sorry, um, tuck the apples in. This back here is a piece of ephemera, and there are leaves back there, and the enamel dots as well. On the back, it's unfinished, but I'm going to go ahead and create a little uh, tuck away so that I can share my information. To go along with that, I created an envelope and I used another basket and I just followed the same thing, the same premise behind the um, memory decks card and created an envelope in which I can send a gift card. Um, and then last but not least is the card. So here is the card. This is where I use the Honey Bee Stamp Donut, and that's another coffee cup. This is a piece of ephemera from one of the Pebbles collections, and this is a um, Gina Marie Loopy Oval die. And I have to find the sentiment that I'm going to put here. I know it says Happy Fall, but some re for some reason it has left my craft room. So I am hoping by the time I get back tomorrow... From work that it is somewhere <laughs> readily available and ready to be used so thanks for tuning in again everyone's hashtag will be in the description box I'm going to leave the um, information for the challenge as well in the description box in case you want to participate um, I, the reason why I'm not going to um, actually um, upload this as a um, challenge entry is because this is not a challenge entry. I am just going to support the challenge. I'm not going to actually enter for the drawing. So, uh, like I said, the information will be in the description box. I thank you for tuning in. I hope that you are well. Thank you for being here and have a blessed and awesome day. Bye now.